Okay, Quran is 100 integrals, number 23. So this time we've got a question. Um, you need to integrate dx over x multiplied by the square, uh, the cube of ln x. Um, there are two different ways you can do this question here. And um, the first method I would like to show you is the reverse chain rule. And I really like the reverse chain rule. It's just really efficient. All right, so the first thing you do is if you think about the derivative of ln x, the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x. And as you can see, we do have 1 over x here. So therefore, we can use the reverse channel to do the question. All right, so the first step, let's separate the fractions into 1 on x, multiply by ln x, and instead of writing a fraction, let's just change it into a negative power dx. So that's the first step you do. All right, so once you finish the steps, now, as you can see, we've got the reverse channels here. So we've got to integrate f dash x, multiply by fx, to the power of n dx. And the answer is equal to 1 over n plus 1 fx to the power of n plus 1 plus c. That's the formula we're using. So if you really pay attention to that, okay, so ln x, that ln x is the fx. Okay? The f dash x, which is the derivative of ln x, and that is 1 on x. And that's f dash x. So as you can see here, we've got everything we need. And we've got a power of minus 3, and we've got a power that's just n. So we've got everything we need. So now we, just, we can just simply apply the formula. So that when we integrate this one, that just raise the power, we increase the power by 1, so that becomes minus 2. And we're going to find the reciprocal of the power, and right in the front, that's negative half. All right, and plus c. So that's it. Now we can get answers really, really quickly without using any um, substitution methods. All right, so this is the method one using the reverse chain rule. Okay, now some students want to do this question here using um, the substitution method. You can also do it using the u substitution, and I'd like to show you how to use the substitution method to do this question here. All right, so let me just rewrite a question. Oops. All right, so method two, substitution. Um, if you want to use the substitution method, um, basically what you're replacing is what's inside the brackets, okay? So you want to replace the lnx, so we're going to let u equals to lnx. All right, and since we know that the derivative of u is equal to 1 over x dx, so we've got everything we have, now we can just replace um, the d x by the du. So let's rearrange this. We've got 1 over x times by, we're going to do the same thing, ln x to the power of minus 3 dx. Now as you can see, that 1 over x dx um, is now can be replaced. So these two joined together can be replaced by just simply a du. So now we can substitute everything back into the formula. So we've got integrate u to the power of minus 3 um, multiply by du. So now we can integrate this one, that becomes 1 over negative 1 over 2, u to the power of minus 2 plus c. So now eventually you just put it, substitute the ln x back into the u, so you get negative half ln x to the power of minus 2 plus c. Um, which is just the same answer. So the reverse channel is um, very, very similar to the substitution method you're using here. Okay, um, I still prefer the reverse channel. It is really efficient and easy to do the question here. All right, thanks for watching.